We are live on the Huck Finn Barbell Show, episode 36, inside the HFB bunker, not the bar, and it's very bright in here. Uh, Mrs. Barbell, go ahead and tell us who our wonderful show is sponsored by. I can't. I'm very distracted right now. Your cat. How long has this cat lived here for? Your cat's letting me pet it for the first time since it lived here. Okay, we are sponsored no, by. Can't you just tell me how long the cat? www.thelockupgym.com. You can't answer my question. Um, the question I do not know the answer. You don't know how long you've had this cat for? Probably six months, eight months. Six months, eight months. It's the first time you let me pet him. He's very nice. All right, leave that cat alone. We got a job. We are sponsored by www.thelockupgym.com. Thank you, John Mallette, for hosting. Nope. Yes, hosting. Hosting our show, sponsoring, yeah, sponsoring our show. John oh, has had a kitty, kitty, girl, oh, kitty, kitty. yeah. Now, oh, now we this kitty cat. Come here. Shut up! It's cute. Now, uh, you like the cat? We can thank John Mallette for having us. That here. cat just burp. <laughs> what? I just heard a burp. Is that the cat or no, is that you? <laughs> like my throat made a noise and it wants more beer. My throat wants more beer. Sorry, Tom. Oh, shit, I spilled my soap. It's okay, my microphone's too close. I can't get my beer in my mouth. I will strangle you with your yeah. microphone wire. Well, John's about to get rid of us because this is a disaster. Mm -hmm. All right, well, John Millette has the lockup gym. It's located in Taylorville, IL, 111 West Main Cross, right? Yes, in Taylorville, which is over by Springfield. You can use code HFB10 if you want 10% off. He has HFB10, a, a, a big, you know, giant gym, all the good equipment, all the things that you need to work out. Also, he sells apparel, he's got a lot of neat. Uh, was that you? Yeah. Oh, that was the cat, actually. That was Charlie. He's got apparel, he's got supplements, he's got our supplements. Yep. But most importantly, he's a good guy with a good gym. So thank you, John, for sponsoring us. Go check out the lockup gym. That cam. He's on Instagram too. The website is at the bottom of the screen. Yes. Thanks, John. Okay. We'll see you later, John. Moving on. You said you had a jammed pack episode tonight? Well, right? I, had, I said I had a jam pitch week. I'm not sure quite how well that will turn into an episode, but it's been a pretty busy week over here at the HFB headquarters. Yeah. I mean, we have did, we did a lot of, uh, what do you call that? Pre-show. Um, to get ready for this episode, so it should be a good one. Correct? You want to explain the pre-show? Pretty much it was called the pre-show fist fight. That's <laughs> what the pre-show is about. We went yeah. over a lot of stuff that we agreed on, obviously. Tom, Tom tricked me. You gave me the impression that I could make a suggestion on changing lighting, and then you were very mad when I suggested to change yeah. the Mrs. lighting. Mrs. Barbell thinks this broadcast is too bright. I can see, look at my, I can see the reflection of the lights on my cheeks. That's good. No, that's not, look at that. Oh no, this I mean, side. It's not like, dark enough? This is a light right here on my cheekbone. That's great. Maybe. I mean. I mean, not all of us, not all of us have uh, to cover half of our faces with sunglasses well, to have a podcast. If you don't want it. If you, if you... I miss the bar. Like, I, this, like, ah, uh, oh. I should be wearing my solar eclipse glasses. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should then be... the fucking light wouldn't be blinding me. Maybe you should wear your glasses. What? Oh, where'd no, those go? My solar Did you lose glasses. those at a bar or something? <laughs> no, those are my other glasses. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I left my other glasses at a bar, yeah. sunglasses at a bar this weekend. That's what you get for letting me go with my friends. That's yes. another part. That's another thing this weekend or this well, week. Geez. WrestleMania. You had this big, bright idea to enjoy WrestleMania and make it a big deal. And big deal, we make it. I make it a big deal my every day, every year of my life. I know. Once a year I that comes can't. on, and once a year we watch WrestleMania. No matter where I'm at or what I'm doing, I watch WrestleMania every year. It's a tradition. I mean, do you think I was wrong to decide to go out with my girlfriends instead <laughs> of watch WrestleMania with I mean, you? You can't just hang out with us. I didn't. You Shit, guys don't I, talk to me. I mean, if you, you guys, like yell about wrestler names that I don't know. Oh, you guys play Taylor Swift all night long. You don't yes, see and me you don't stick storm around out for of the it. room. Yes, you do. I go you hang out with my friends at a bar all night. No, you're right. You go to the gym. I go down to the gym at my house. 
WrestleMania, the girls wanted you there. And then you said, I won't know anything. I won't know any wrestlers. Anyway, we had a good time without you. I had Domino's pizza. <laughs> Oh God! I had margaritas and tacos. Yeah, and then more beer. I so had, yeah, pizza. It looked like somebody threw up on it. <laughs> oh, gross! You didn't tell me that. Yeah, well, that's why the little one wouldn't eat it. Yeah, it was gross. Yes. What did you a, order? Domino's pizza, but like just plain, like pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. They're used to the fancy, you know, Chicago area <laughs> pizza. Our kids turned into pizza yuppies. I mean, if Domino's is, you know, Elena ate it, but. We'll still eat anything. That's not fair. Yeah. Yeah, and then I was forced to watch night two by myself in the dark. And that was a good night. All the old guys came back. Well, that was a school night. You can't expect them to, like, still be awake. They're fins. They could stay up for wrestling. Like, there's certain things. Wrestling, the Super Bowl. I mean, come on. They had, like, state testing this week. They couldn't stay up. Anyway, so Tom and the kids had a very busy weekend with WrestleMania. I had a busy week in the workshop. I uh, made a certain fuck. I don't. Do I even want to say the name? Do are we even saying what name? Uh, our lift heavy shirt. Why wouldn't we say the name of uh, the company that we're mad at? Yeah, about I don't it? give a fuck. No, tango fuck Charlie. Tango Charlie. Yeah, it, our fuck I just put that on as because I don't want to give them any publicity on my uh, Instagram. Oh page. yeah. The people that I had people, to this are my I had people DM me. They're like, what happened? Like, who's mad at who? Because after when I tagged Massonomics, they're, they, I think they got nervous that like us and Massonomics had a problem. I'm like, no, 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 no. So anyone who doesn't know. I have a know, big problem with those assholes. Oh, stop it. No, I like those guys. That's why we did this. Tango Charlie completely ripped off Massonomics best shirt. And when confronted politely, because you know, those southeast northwest mass massonomics dakota people mm -hmm. they're very polite yeah politely please like that's our shirt that you're copying and then they got blocked and they refused to comment and they keep selling it so we took tango charlie's best idea and we made it a whole lot better and now we're gonna sell that uh yeah yeah so, so made yeah. made one for tommy and made one for tanner and we'll keep making them for everyone else it's a good shirt yeah, lift heavy pet pussy or lick pussy. It was pet pussy first or pet cat. Pet cat. It originally came out. So well, that's the exact opposite of their shirt. That's why. No, it was we lift wanna, heavy. No, no, no. Their, not their shirt again. said lift heavy, pet dogs. Dogs and cats are not opposites. I Tom, said, they're just a dog two and a cat. Is, oh my god, animals. a dog is the. Are, are you kidding me? How is a dog and a cat not complete opposites? One's it's a cat. Two, one's a dog. It's not opposite. It didn't. It didn't say. Lift heavy pet collies, lift heetavy pet Shetland sheepdogs. That is not the opposite. <laughs> no, you're right. That's, the, the, That's the same fucking thing. No, it's not. Opposite is like hot, cold, day, night. Dog, cat. Is whale, dolphin, vagina, an dick. No, is whale, dolphin an opposite, or is those just two ocean animals? Huh? Whale, dolphin. Are the, is that opposites or just two ocean animals? Oh yeah, that's the fucking opposite. A fucking whale and a dolphin. What about like parakeet? Parrot. Opposites? Those are fucking birds. Cat, dog. Those Opposites. Are, how, no, they're not. They're just household pets. No, they're not. They're so not is like parakeet's a household pet. Same with the fucking goldfish. That's not helping your argument. A dog and the cat are opposites. <laughs> they're not. Yes, it is. No. I don't know what no. oh, kind God. of, uh, I mean, what kind of degree do you have to know this? Huh? <laughs> A teaching degree, God. particularly of reading. Oh, I'm a reading specialist. Jesus. I kind of know a lot about grammar. You know a lot about opposites? Yes. I guess not. You didn't go to that school that day. <laughs> Opposite. A dog is not a cat. A cat is not a dog. What if D-O-G really spelled cat? I said they're different. They're not opposites. No, they are opposites. <laughs> okay. okay, then what's opposite? What's the opposite of a, of a dog? A dog doesn't have an opposite. There is no opposite of a dog? No. There's nothing. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then a cat is a completely different thing than a dog. Yes, it's not an opposite. It's just different. Okay, well, then that's my point. It is <laughs> different. You can't call it, it is an opposite. Same thing, different opposite, the same shit. No, it's not. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Hot. Um. Cold. Spiky 
are different but not opposites. Hot, cold are different and opposites. It's not. You know what? Fuck off. You throw makes a noise sometimes and you're being mean to me. Enough. Oh, jeez. Please, enough. You're being mean to me saying I'm stupid on here for saying I don't know opposites. I I bet my fans will think that's opposites. I guarantee if they vote on it. We'll vote on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll make a poll on my Instagram. Are you a stupid fan and you think that dog and cat are stupid opposites? Stupid fan you're calling them now? Are you a smart fan in that you know Kieran is right and dog and cat are not opposites? No. That's different. I'm just going to ask him. Is cat, C-A-T, the opposite of D-O-G? That is it. Yes or no? <laughs> okay, and then we'll we'll go and we'll see what the polling is. No, well, I just would like to remind everybody out there that I am the one that ships the orders. So I don't know what that means. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Are you threatening people on here now? I'm encouraging I mean, them. Geez. No, I'm bribing. I don't think you I'm should be bribing. threatening I'm people on our podcast. Not that is not I'm smart. We're just them. we just gonna lose all of our audience now. Bribing. And the people that actually watch the Huckman Barbell show are probably our biggest, you know, followers of fans. If you and- order something and you give me your opinion in an email, you'll either get something removed or added to your order. Removed? You can't remove some other order. <laughs> What the fuck are you going to do? Take their money and not give them a shirt? Jeez, that's a good way for our business to really <laughs> crash and burn. Let's Maybe I'll just add things if you email me and you say, like, you're on team. Tom's an idiot. You might get something added to your order. Just saying. Okay. We'll see. Anyways, did you explain what the story was? Uh, yeah. What? That they stole... The lift shirt, so then we stole theirs and made it funnier. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> the fuck was that? I'm not allowed to talk about it. You fucking knocked that over? <laughs> oh, Here we go again. <laughs> God, I can't believe you knocked it over on purpose. I had, We went over this lighting thing for an hour, and it went out that it was right. I made the mistake on thinking that I could... Give some critical feedback. There you go. There's your little about the lighting. Camera angle. Very politely requesting, could we just try one or two options? And uh, it didn't go over well. And then Tom's light just fell over. So I feel like that's on you. What are you cheering for? Um, that Bailey. Uh, I can't say his. How do you spell his last name? I don't even know how to say his last name. The guy that was with. Uh, Keith's buddy from Minnesota. He was a fighter in MMA. Yeah, he just okay. won the heavyweight championship for okay. the UFC. Has this like I don't know what it's even called, but he just won. He's with CM Punk's giving him the belt just now. Was on UFC Fight Pass. All right, Bailey Schumacher. I don't know. I say his last some weird name, but anyways, yep. We just got an update. They just won the belt. That's big. He's on the feet. Hasn't lost. All right. He was the guy. Remember, there's a picture of all of us with our shirts off in the front row. He was the guy with the cast on. Yeah, I remember at the uh, Minnesota football game. Yeah, when you went to bed at like three in the afternoon. Yeah, that is true. Alpha. <laughs> all right, what were we talking about again? That you screwed the lighting up. Your cat sniffed it to check out the situation. Fucking cat probably knocked it over. No, cat's I think... laying back there playing with the fucking wires right now. Um. Yeah, the lift. Lift heavy, lick pussy t shirt mm-hmm. is live. That's the first of like, I, so I made, I had to try a new emulsion this week. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody boring, boring, boring. Means. I know. Like, it's stupid, like, kind of hard tech week on my end. Uh, I got it started with one new screen design and everything worked out well, pumping those shirts out. And then I'm going to try to make a bunch of new ideas on the screens in the next few days. So that's the apparel update that I have for you. Yeah, we have new uh, shirts coming. We just had a... Um, I have the coolest supplement update for you, but you have to first give a supplement update, and then I'll tell you why it's even cooler. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not telling you. That you yet. haven't told me? Uh-huh. What? I'm not telling you until you say you set the stage of the that... supplements. Are we getting you supplements, Tom? Are we getting you supplements? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Tell me about them. I don't really know much about them. Shut up. <laughs> Am I supposed to? Yeah. All right. So Billy knocked it out of the park with that Eagle Juice logo, right? Yeah. 
I, fuck, I wish I could bring it up on here, but I can't. Why? Because it's not my computer, so I don't want to run it. If it's my iPad, I could, I, I know how to run it really well. I could go to like different pictures on, you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to do pictures on your, I don't know how to run a computer. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I don't know. You can screen share on the live on the feed that we're doing, but right now all I can do is this. I know that that's just what <laughs> I was. Doing. Just went away. <laughs> Damn that's it! What I'm looking for right so now. So I have it right here. Now it's on yours. I'm number one. So there it is. That's oh, all. that looks terrible in the light. There it is. Oh no! Honestly, like, you can't even see that there's a flag in the background. Yeah, you can. Whatever. It's almost like there's like too much like light shining on your. Oh my god! Here we go again. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, that angle's a little better. Yeah. Billy knocked it out of the park like he always does. Yeah. So, so that's the new pre workout flavor. Yeah. Uh, Eagle Juice. Which on the last podcast we were taste testing. So otherwise known as Eagle Jizz. Uh, street name. Also had a street name. What was the other one I had? I forget. Another street name for it? I've there's, only heard There's it. a third one. Oh, I only heard Eagle Jizz. Uh, Lou Nutter had something. It's called like Freedom something. Oh. Anyway, that's coming. It's a new flavor. Uh, the logo is badass, thanks to Billy Rake. Mm -hmm. And then he also updated our other logo, Killer Juice, the amino acid slash hydration product that we have. Um, screwdriver flavor is badass. The fucking logo looks even better. That logo looks awesome. I know. I love it. It's so cool. Put it straight to nope there it is bam yeah yeah so both of those are coming out soon are you ready for this did you send the other logo or uh He'd... label oh <laughs> well i mean that's that has nothing to do with the timing no. of it so no, it's fine. we're in that we're in the queue yeah so so you know how, and I think one of my favorite parts of having this job is that we have people who, even without meeting them, like you get to know them. You can joke around with them. You know different things about them. Like I'll have orders come in. I know mm -hmm. where they live. I know what size they wear. I do not know that. We DM, like I DM with some of the people that just know, know we, like the ins and outs of you and I and whatever, quite a bit. So that's fun. Uh, Dan Grady, a.k.a. the man with a unicorn jizz tattoo on his leg, has already in the works with his tattoo artist about the Eagle logo. He said, are you are you guys kidding me? Like, you already, like, you made another badass logo? Like, oh, I, I have already spoken to my tattoo artist. So he will be sending us pictures. What is that tattoo called? That's that thing that can It's the gets. unicorn. Wait, what? No, that style. Especially the one, the new logo. Isn't that a style American oh. old English or something? Well, what do they call that? The, I mean, American traditional, I think is Isn't what you're that, that to one say. look like an American traditional tattoo? Um with the eagle and the body and all that shit with the tattoos on it. I don't know. That's what I thought no, it looked like. But huh? No. That's not. No. Oh well. Um maybe I was wrong. Sorry. You're wrong. What is it then? I mean, the Eagle Man does have some American traditional tattoos on his arm, mm -hmm. but this collectively would not. No, just the American Eagle Man. Just how we just got the local unicorn. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. That's. Uh, that is, I, don't know. I mean, just like if there was, it was just like an eagle. I, it's, I think it's maybe up for an interpretation. If it was an eagle, you could say that. If it was those tattoos, you could say that. And the way there's like the banner to it, like it's definitely an American tradition like feel of it. I mean, a variation of one, I suppose. I don't know. I don't make the rules on what gets called American traditional or not. <laughs> Damn cat's licking my back of my leg. Oh, but I got yelled at for petting a cat and you won't stop talking about the cat. Oh, Just well, saying. lift heavy pet cats. That's the name of the game. Oh, that's... And then somebody changed it. I thought Lick Cats was funnier. Lick Cats? Well, Lick Pussy. I mean, who licks a cat? I kind of thought, because it was 
when you did the promo pictures, I thought it was kind of awkward that you were holding your cat. Yeah, it's supposed to be petting cats. <laughs> but that's not what the shirt says. You're like, lick cats. And then you're like holding your cat. <laughs> yeah, it's called a play on words. It's, yeah, like, it's kind of weird. There's that... a cat. There's a picture of a cat on there. Yeah. What no. the hell is that supposed to mean? It was weird that you had a cat with you, not a vagina. <laughs> well, you think I could take a picture of a vagina with well, me and put it on the fucking internet? Some people do that. Oh, come on. You can't do that. You get kicked off. I mean, unless it's on like a OnlyFans or something or, yeah, or a woman's page. I fucking put a picture on there. Holy fuck. I'd be booted off immediately. I'm just saying I thought it was weird you took a picture of the cat. I don't think it was weird at all. Okay. Not weird. Okay. We'll take a vote on that as well. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. All right. What else do you want to argue about? No, <laughs> fucking lighting. I think there's this lighting is way too bright. Mm hmm. Um, I don't know. I forget. You forget what? I forgot what I was talking about. I had my notes in front of me, but. Um, yeah, supplements are coming in a few weeks. Hopefully, hopefully in the beginning of May, I would imagine. I would hope it would be the end of April on account of that that will be eight weeks from. Oh, is it? Yes. No, oh, I thought the beginning of May was. Yeah, but we don't have labels to them yet. So labels take three days. Okay. Well, yeah. No. Right, once end, we're in the queue, we're good. End of, end of April is when I would hope because that would be eight weeks out awesome awesome yeah Yeah, because we need some no Um, i felt bad today actually we sold the last local unicorn Uh it's kind of hard to time things out we're getting better but like it's a little bit tricky to time things out then like things like the arnold will throw us in a loop like you don't know what you're going to sell and like oh shoot you know more than we intended to and now we have to make sure that we have stuff for everyone so sorry Fireball, no, Ring of Fire, we still have. And we have um, Summertime Blues Killer Juice. Yeah. And then we'll get another pre workout and another Killer Juice flavor soon. Um, Another thing I want to go over. Yes. Is uh, I found some old notes in 2017. Ew. Okay. No, wait. You what? Nope. Notes of what though? We didn't even have our company yet. We were like with eight, you were with eight man still. It's not notes about the company. Mm. It's notes about how much I hate you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This will be good. <laughs> no, it's not. Can't <laughs> wait. Wait. It's not that. It is notes about how why I love my wife so much. Liar. She is very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Um. No, their ideas for. I guess it was for video ideas. Remember? Oh, so yeah. I want to go over these and see what you think is good. And then okay. also if there's people watching on the YouTube, they can comment on which ones they would want to see. Yeah, you need another good stunt video. Well, you haven't I, stunted a long there's time. There's a fucking ton on here. Oh, great. Looking forward to pay the ER bills for these. All right. Throw an Olympic bar while on fire like a javelin. Fine. It's a 45-pound bar. So it's... Yeah. Throw it in the field. Or maybe right. did the drive, like It'd the gravel driveway. Right here. Well, well field, the, the right field here. started on fire? No. Come on. Okay. I mean, just um, throw it to the driveway. Rollerblading squat over fire. So that was probably, I, that was shortly after I did the rollerblading squat. I think hmm. I did that in 16. Over fire? Like you think you can jump in blades? No, I'd have a small fire under my ass. Like when I go down, the fire would hit me in the butt. Like it'd oh. be hot. hot. Oh. And if I fell, I'd fall into the fire. Hmm. So that was the danger part. Okay. Um, lunges. Can I just go back to that other idea? Your man parts are awfully close to your butt. I feel like there'd be danger of them burning. So I'm going to veto that on the count of protection of your man parts. Okay. Lunges over mouse traps, like lunging through mouse traps. Boring. This is a good one. This is one I'm definitely doing. Get a giant raw fish and get slapped in the face with it while overhead pressing. <laughs> that is good. Come on. You don't think that's a good idea? Yeah, but I'm not doing it because you. I think you mentioned that like a while ago. I don't touch fish. Well, you'd wear gloves. Mm, I don't you like you fish. put giant gloves on, you make it look a bit funnier. And then just slam me real hard across the face every time I'd come down from overhead press and hit me in the face with a fish. Hmm. Maybe. 
That's a good one. Or like Foreman can do that. No, he'll be recording. Oh. Uh, benching and then fart fire out of my butt. So I mean, it sounds like something you and the boys should do. You'd have a torch and then I'd fart. A torch? Yeah, you'd have to have a light. So then you'd fart and the, the flame comes out, you know? Okay. Um, feet up bench with a beer in my feet. I don't really know what that means. This, like I said, this is seven years ago. So I don't, I just wrote, <laughs> sounds I just like, wrote do down shit. Mean? I have no idea. Right. There's one day I'm just fucking around and writing down stupid shit on a phone. Um, heavy bench while someone does rows laying on top, which I did that kind of, I think, with the cows one time. Okay. And this is a good one. Mayonnaise filled shoes while I work out. You don't know Fill my shoes with going. mayonnaise. Huh? Like, why is, like, Will it like show? Would it like It'd be squishing out and gross? I, I have no idea why I wrote it down. <laughs> it's it's dumb as fuck. Ever... Listen, they're not all good ideas. I don't understand that at all. Uh, this is one I've wanted to do too. Okay. Um, paddle with a barbell in a kayak. That would be funny. So to, oh, I would okay. like to see you could do like a race. Like, can you and your friends like race in boats? No, yeah, that's I mean, that's requiring we have zero of these kayaks or canoes. Yeah, yeah, kayak. So you have that one mm -hmm. oh, kayak has that one. Yeah, yeah. The only the one that's a yeah paddle, except use a forty five pound bar or barbell with the plates on it. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I may probably use twenty five pound plates. I guess. I think it'd be funnier if you guys were racing. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, uh, one hundred thirty five pound military press with uh, press hot potato with somebody underneath. You've done Which that. We did that with boss. Uh, go into aisle nine of Walmart and deadlift. The fuck's aisle nine? I don't know. Okay. It's Walmart deadlift. So deadlift in the middle of Walmart. All right. Walk into a Mexican restaurant while military pressing while a band plays. Oh, that was I was gonna do, but they. Uh, I was supposed to do it on a Friday. At uh, by Barbell Central, they had a mariachi band there on Friday nights, mm. and I was gonna do that. Stop petting your cat. <laughs> That's not the cat. The fuck are you petting? It's you, ain't it? No. Um, the uncomfortable push-up. A fat guy in my back naked. Ew. While doing a push-up. <laughs> Ew. Alaskan worm. Do the worm with no shirt on through the snow. I kind of did that with that man thong. Didn't you do... Ago. Do you make snow angels? I remember recording you like in something. Big Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Slip and slide while bench pressing. Done. Squat on ice skates. Done. High heel deadlifts. Done. Go into a restaurant, Chipotle, while military pressing and order a full meal. Boring. Planet Fitness video. Hmm. That's all I had. All right. But yeah, I just found those the other day. There's a bunch of good ones in there. What do you think the best one was? Mm, the I think it'd be the boat one or the javelin one. I don't know if the javelin one would be that good. I mean, I don't know that it would go well. I think that you think you have the ability to throw it real far, and I bet like it wouldn't. You can't throw a forty-five pound bar, that right? Far. That's. Do you know how how much a uh, let's just say how much a. Shot put. I how much I, do you like, think a shot? How I, much do you think a shot put weighs? Hold on. The I only know the concept, like that you throw something. I don't actually know what it looks like. What does it look like? A shot put is like a big ball, and you hold it right here. So it's just <laughs> like, I mean, and just a ball, like oh, so I like a cement ball. What does it weigh? I don't know. What do they weigh? Maybe I don't. I, I don't pounds, even. I, I didn't even know that it was a ball. I don't know. <laughs> you never seen somebody shot put? The fuck would I see that? I'm guessing twenty some pounds. I don't know. Let me look it up. Okay. Or a discus. Also, don't know what that looks like. Sixteen pounds. I was close. I said twenty. Okay. Sixteen pounds is a shot put. So a forty-five pound. I'd probably throw my fucking arm out. Trying to Didn't, throw. You throw. Is, you throw a javelin it? like this, right? Your dad threw javelin. Like, mm -hmm. what does a real javelin weigh? Oh, not much. It's a spear. Is it just like a... It's like a giant spear. It's like a, like a lightweight stick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a spear. 
I mean, those are I, I've never picked up one. I'm guessing those are probably like four pounds. What's a ja- javelin? I guarantee you, Pappy would know this. He had a ton of them. Mm-hmm. No, one point three pounds. Oh, I mean, they're meant to go well, full. Pappy threw like on like really two hundred something yards. I was impressed that Pappy threw a javelin. I didn't know it was like a piece of paper. No. It was just like about the ability to throw it really far. Yeah. Like your strength was in the ability to throw it far, not because mm-hmm. it was heavy. Yeah. I've literally like I've never attended a track event in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have any. Well, I, yeah, I was in track. What? Yeah. I thought only your dad was. No, I was in track uh shot discus and I uh, was this, like a sprinter too. Freshman and, year? No, in freshman year baseball started, didn't it? Or was it? Oh, so just middle school. Yeah, middle oh, okay. school, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Okay. Because you could do track and play baseball. But then. by high school you couldn't. But by high school, yeah, it was either either or. No, I don't know anything about track. Oh, well. I bet there was track when I was a kid. I don't recall of it. Of course there was. I don't. There's I like, track everywhere. I, I don't recall it. Yeah, no, I was in track. I was. Uh... I knew basketball. I had basketball friends. I had football friends i had soccer friends i don't recall I also, track friends i played everything i don't know who was on track i played pretty much every school. sport through i was a kid every single sport there was yeah perhaps some of those guys also did those things i just didn't notice like a lot of linemen would throw the shot put and discus and shit hmm. okay um but no yeah track did all that shit i remember that that's stupid very i mean it was like a sport I guess it is a sport, but it wasn't like, uh, I don't know. I mean, in the explain. world where like golf and I bowling, mean, it is a sport. golf and bowling are sports. I mean, track is a sport big time. I mean, some of those things are very hard to do. Well, and to be like, like a throwing fast a disc runner. at there is very, it's very uh, technical too. Yeah. How to throw it. You're like your accuracy and whatnot. I mean, it is, it's just not like. How football is football is well, like not a, football is like fucking a fucking football time. I know, but it's just so much. Yeah, but you can't always compare that, that. To me, that's it's just kind of like almost like you go out and throw horseshoes. It's like drinking a beer, and I don't know. And there's also, I remember I was on the relay team, like how to take the fucking hand off and all that shit. I remember all that too. You had to learn. Are you yawning on the show? Yeah, you better restart that. <laughs> I can't reach. We're too far in now. But yeah, I mean, it was fun. I guess yeah. When I, when I, do you play track or you do track? You, you don't play track. You play football, you play baseball. I play track. You don't say that. No. Right? You're the smart one here. And you play pool. What do you do with bowling? You don't play bowling. I go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't do go bowling. track. That, like, no. that's your too. No, I know. You don't. You, I play football. I participate. I play in, basketball. I participate in football. I participate in. Bowling. You don't I say that. You never say that. Go- well, that's like- a that, what is that? That's a new thing. I have a participation award. No, you play those sports. I play football. I played. What did you play in high school? I played bowling. I played because those are games. Track isn't a game. Huh? Football is a game, so you can play a game. Play football. You can't play track because oh, track isn't a game. game. What is yeah. track then? A series of athletic activities. Okay, what's bowling then? Same thing. Serious athletic activities. I don't know. A place to have beer while you put the ball down the thing. Yeah. I bet. Oh, can you. What is it called? Like when you do 10 frames. Like. It's not a match. Well, I'm Amish. What we do it? 12. What? Is that from that movie? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's called. What's it called? A match. I don't know. That's tennis. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know. We're getting way off topic here. We don't have a topic. I think it's okay. I thought you said you had a topic for this. Mm, yeah, I think I might have covered my topics. <laughs> yeah, so we have, what were we just talking about? The pre-workout? I don't know. We are talking about sports. Like a long time ago. What yeah. the hell was the last thing we were talking about? Why do we get talking about sports? I don't know. I don't either. Who? I don't think we need to backtrack. Who's the guest? The wizard. I did text the wizard tonight. He's died. 
the wizard does want to come back on. He will come back. He, on is soon. he coming on for the summer months? He does. He will be yes. back soon. So don't worry. I was trying to get him on tonight. Um, but yeah. I, I told him a lot of times what I want to do. <laughs> we've talked about this, but it just mm. never fucking works. Okay. Is to get it done Sunday night. I think that when it's not football season, I was just going to say football. That's it. There's no football for a long time. Yeah. So if I could get it done, we do a podcast Sunday night. And then I can, you know, upload everything for that week. Be perfect. Hmm. Plus, he could do it on Sundays, he said. What about? And we could, too. What about, um, so not just the summer, but, like, if it's a non-football yet non-summer month. Say, April or March. What are you talking about? Sunday? I mean, is that just a summer con? No, I'm saying like right now. Like all the time, Sundays yeah. would work for the wizard. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Plus, it would be good to have the when we have the wizard back on. Uh, he'll be in like a little bitty screen up in the side. Oh, we should make like a cool picture for him. No, he's gonna be on. No, he's not. Yeah. Wait, revealing his identity? No, but he's gonna cover half his face. Oh, okay. You know, just like he, he should would. have like a different mask every time. Yeah, he's gonna sit where he's gonna sit this. <laughs> Whatever is he have a Subaru? <laughs> I don't remember what he had. <laughs> Some weird car. He's like a mask Hon- for an hour. Honda. Remember how he complained all the time? Yeah. Like I've been sitting out here for an hour <laughs> waiting on you guys. You know that thing like on, like ass. where you can like the filters like make your face look like a pig, make your face look like this. Like he could just put a filter on his face. Oh, I don't know if you can on this thing. <laughs> you can. But it'd be really well, maybe funny you can. If you I could. don't know. Maybe he could look maybe into there's that. An option. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. You can come out with like a like a pig man or something. Mm-hmm. It'd be great. All right. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah, pig man. Um, what else is going on? Hmm. That one thing's coming up. What's that? That thing where I was gonna go to. What is it called? The home gym con. Oh, that's like in a couple of weeks. So, I talked to Foreman He's... about it. Foreman's gonna record it. Okay. And yeah, I'm not doing that. We're thinking I'm about staying with the children. Well, what you probably will after you hear this. <laughs> yeah, so they're sold out of room, so me and Former are going to sleep in my truck. Ew. <laughs> Why didn't you bring the camper? Oh. Dumbass. You, about we that. own a, a, I mean, he has this, he can't sleep in my bed. He so can go what, sleep in the kids' the, bed. Here is the plan. Foreman, uh, the white George Foreman, who has been recording a lot Put of Put him on the couch lately. in the living room. What we were going to, the plan was, we were because the draft You're is that so weekend, dumb. too. He, yeah. So we were gonna just get in the truck and have our like i the iPad up and watch the draft and just like order a pizza. We and have sleep a in the camper truck. with the TV, Tom. Yeah, but how? Where am I gonna park that thing at? Walmart. You need a generator. Huh? I never thought of that. You're so dumb. Man, maybe we'll do that. I thought it'd be hilarious because I already <laughs> had a video idea for it. I spent 24 hours <laughs> fucking <laughs> camping in a truck or something, whatever they do, you know, what, what do they call that? The van life or whatever that is when the people sleep in their vehicles. I don't know anything about sleeping in vehicles. Wow. Honey. There's all kinds of. I'm a little too high tone for that. There's people that have like very nice vans that are like campers. Now. Oh yes. And like people live in it and they travel and I don't know, they do all kinds of shit. It's like the in thing to do when you're like, I think younger or older, I don't know. But anyways. Yeah. That was uh, that was one of our ideas. I mean, or we could say, how can you? <laughs> There's a lot of uh, YouTube videos. Are like, um, I survived on fifty dollars in New York City, and this is how I did it. <laughs> I survived on fifty dollars at what's this thing called the Home Gym Con. This is how we did it. Where are we going to park your truck? Where would I park the truck at? Mm-hmm. I was thinking about Larry Bird's hometown or uh, home. Uh, Childhood home there, French Lick, Indiana. Probably somewhere in that vicinity. Okay. Yeah, I, we haven't really thought through it much, but I can tell. Yeah, we're thinking about sleeping in the truck. Or we're probably the, gonna park it in the uh, or the camper. Your call. Yeah, maybe we'll just pull it up to that. We'll pull it into that uh, place wherever it's at, and just camp there, right outside. How much longer are we podcasting for? We've got about an hour left. Why? I need a minute. For real? Mm-hmm. No, we only got a couple more minutes left. Mm. I'm gonna wrap this up. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Enough of the podcast or the uh, whatever. What the hell were we just talking about? I keep forgetting everything tonight. I don't know. Um, home home gym con. Me and the white George Foreman will probably be there, and we'll probably be sleeping in a truck. Um, I think that that's the weekend of the draft, which is two weeks from tomorrow. I can't believe you're leaving me and watching the draft myself. I'll be FaceTiming the whole time when we watch a draft. We won't be leaving Thursday, like our number one pick. No, I number know. nine pick. I mean, That'll the Bears be don't even night. Bears don't even have a second round or no, third, yeah, or fourth. That's true. Yeah, just, just I mean, they only have Thursday four picks, like I think, day. out of the seven rounds this year because they traded them all away to. But they got good players for it. Um, Worth it. Yeah, Bears uh, probably going to win the Super Bowl this year. So look for us at the home gym con, wandering around, probably needing a shower. You see us. <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, new shirt is live. It is called uh, Lift, Lift Heavy. Heavy Pet Cats. Nope. Lick it is Pussy. Out. Um, there's a few other shirts. I that... should name it Pet Cats, even though the shirt says like Pussy. Yeah. There's uh, more shirts coming down the road. Mrs. Barbell is in the process of making them. Also, mm -hmm. the supplements are coming back. The AWO is here, 30 bucks a month. Huffman Barbell Dat Cam. Mm -hmm. Train uh, with you. Train with me and ask me anything. My diet's on there. Everything's on there. Um, and hey, we got a YouTube video in the other day as well. So that's, we fucked up, we missed a couple of weeks. But we still can't get our money from YouTube for some reason. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Anybody in the French Lick, Indiana area, uh, DM me. What? We're if gonna need somewhere Tom to park the to truck. Park the truck <laughs> or RV in your our, yard. Yeah, our please. forty foot long RV. Hey, the cat's back. Oh, great. Come here, kitty. Okay. Thank you, John Mullet from Lockup Gym. www.thelockupgym.com. Check him out online or in person in Taylorville, IL. Thank you, John, with the Lockup Gym. Jeez, you see that? Look at how quick that was. Hmm. All right, that's it. Okay, bye. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Same no. channel, same time. Next what? week, next month. Next month. No. Oh, okay, okay, bye. What are, you, what are you trying to get off the air for? Okay, bye. Where are you going? Bye. You can't end this. Where are you going, Mrs. Barbell? Come back here. Okay, bye.